So this single value standard deviation indicates what is the measure of variation into your entire sample. And that's why this is the most important measure for measures of dispersion. Hello friends, welcome back. As per your valuable outings from this video, I am going to explain important statistical concepts with the help of practical example, what is the formula that we have used into that particular statistical concepts and how we can perform that statistical concept using the scientific calculators. The journey for learning of the statistical concepts is also more interesting because we are also going to see how we can perform the statistical concepts using Microsoft Excel as well. So let's begin. The first concept that we are going to learn as a part of the journey is the standard deviation. The reason for taking standard deviation as a first concept because this is one of the most used measures of dispersion. As a part of it, I am also going to explain you what is the standard deviation, what are the various types of it, what is the formula that we are going to use in each of these types and how to perform the standard deviation using Microsoft Excel. So let's dive into it. Let's first understand what is the standard deviation. Standard deviation also consists of two important parts. One is called as a sample standard deviation and another is a population standard deviation. Let me explain first sample standard deviation and then we will go into the detail for population standard deviation. The sample standard deviation provides a measure of spread of your data. What is the measure of spread? Please look at into this picture. Here we are having the sample which consists of the data points x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 and x6. Now, if we calculate the average of all these data points, it is called as a sample mean which is indicated by the letter x bar. Now, if you calculate what is the deviation of each of these value from this mean is called as a measure of spread. That means we can see this line indicates that what is the difference between the mean and that individual value. This is nothing but the measure of spread. And the standard deviation indicates what is the measure of spread into entire your sample. That's why it is one of the most important concept to explain the measure of dispersion. It is equal to the square root of the sample variance. This is the basic concepts actually, variance. I will also going to explain what is a variance into the next video. But let's understand what is the standard deviation in detail as a part of this video. If the data contains x1, x2, x3 up to xn values, where n is equal to number of data points with mean is equal to x bar. Then the standard deviation of the sample is calculated by using this formula. S is equal to square root of summation goes from i is equal to 1 to n xi minus x bar bracket square divided by n minus 1. In this formula, there is a denominator n minus 1. The question can be in your mind why we have divided by n minus 1 instead of n. So here is answer for it. The reason for dividing by n minus 1 instead of n is that there are only n minus 1 independent deviations. Now what is an independent deviation? Let's take an example of three samples. Okay, so we are having the A, B and C samples. Okay, now what are the independent deviations? If you want to compare A and B, that is the one comparison and B and C, this is the second comparison. If you want to compare the A and C, this is not an independent comparison because we have already compared the A and B and we also compared the B and C. So we know what is the relationship between A and C. So the independent observation always one minus the sample size. According to statisticians, the denominator n minus one is used to remove the potential bias in small samples, typically less than 30. In many cases, if you are having the sample more than 30, then you can treat it as a population standard deviation. But again, it is desirable to use the sample standard deviation. Now let's go into the detail to understand how we are going to calculate the standard deviation. This is the example one. Find the sample standard deviation of the sample, which consists of the data points 6, 4, 3, 7, 8, 5 and 2. Now, the first procedure to calculate the sample standard deviation is let's understand what is the formula into it. The formula is that we had seen S is equal to square root of 
summation goes from i is equal to 1 to n x i minus x bar bracket square divided by n minus 1. So let's calculate each of these values and then let's see what is the standard deviation is coming. Yes, I am also going to explain how to calculate the standard deviation by using the Microsoft Excel as well as scientific calculator. But before to go into that, let's understand what is the meaning of this formula and what this formula indicates. Here it is. This is our sample. Having the values x is equal to 6, 4, 3, 7, 8, 5 and 2. The first step as we look at into this formula, we are having the x bar, right? So let's calculate what is the mean of these data points. The mean is nothing but the average of all these data points. That means we are going to add these all observations divided by what is the sample size. And if you do that, we are getting x bar as a 5. Now the next important step is we need to calculate this x i minus x bar. So let's calculate x minus x bar. Now we know here what is x? x is the independent value which is 6. So we are going to calculate x minus x bar here. So that will be equal to 6 minus what is x bar? x bar here is a 5. So we can put the value here as a 5. Similarly, we need to calculate this x i minus x bar for all these data points. So for the second data point, which will be equal to this 4 minus 5 that is coming as is equal to minus 1. For the third data point, which is equal to 3 minus 5, which is coming as minus 2. Similarly, we can calculate this x i minus x bar for all the data points. In next step, we need to make the square of it, right? Because we can see this is a square. The numerator term consists of square of this bracket. So let's make a square of it. One square is 1. Minus 1 square is minus 1 into minus 1. That is coming as minus minus plus. So it is 1. Minus 2 square as 4. 2 square as 4. And similarly, we can calculate x i minus x bar square for all of these observations. Now, please look at into the numerator. We are having the summation of all these values, right? Summation goes from i is equal to 1 to n x i minus x bar bracket square. As we have calculated the x i minus x bar bracket square, so let's make a sum of it. If you make the addition of it, it is coming as 28. So the numerator value here is 28. Now into the denominator, we are having the value n minus 1. As we can see, the n is 7 because this is the number of sample size. We are having the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. This is the sample size. So n is equal to 7. Now what will be n minus 1? Obviously 7 minus 1 which is coming as 6. So we need to divide this entire value that is a 28 divided by 6 because this is our denominator. And if you do that calculation it is coming as square root of 28 divided by 6 which is equal to 2.16. So by using this formula we had seen how we can calculate the standard deviation. Now let's understand the practical meaning of the standard deviation. Here it is. The firstly, we have calculated the x bar, which is coming as 5. That is nothing but average of all these values. Now let's look at each of these values. The first value is 6, right? If you see the range of values for our sample is from 2 to 8. So we have simply taken the range from 2 to 8 to understand how the standard deviation is. If we calculate the range here, range is nothing but the maximum value minus minimum value. So the maximum value here is 8 and the minimum value is 2. So the range is coming as maximum value minus minimum value which is nothing but the 6. Okay. Now if you see all these values that we are going to compare with respect to this x bar that is indicating measure of spread with respect to mean. The first value is a 6 and we can see this is the difference between the first value and the mean value. The second value is 4 and we can see the difference between this 4 and this mean value. Similarly, we can also see what is the difference between all these individual values and the mean of the values. This is indicating the measure of spread. So this single value standard deviation indicates what is the measure of variation into your entire sample. And that's why this is the most important measure for measures of dispersion. Now let's take another example to continue this understanding. This is the second example. Find the sample standard deviation of this sample which consists of again 7 data points. What is the procedure? Please look at the formula and let's put the values into this. 
The procedure is take all the individual values, calculate the x bar for it, which is nothing but the average of this. Calculate the xi minus x bar, make a square of it. After that, we need to make the summation of it. Let's calculate what is a n and what is n minus 1. Put these values into the formula and we will get the standard deviation for the sample. Here it is. If you can calculate that, it will be coming as 6.18. So up to this point, with these two examples, I'm sure that you have got the complete clarity about how we can calculate the sample standard deviation and what is it. If you are going to calculate the standard deviation by using calculator, now here the sample standard deviation is always indicated by the yes and the population standard deviation which is other type of the standard deviation which is always indicated by the sigma. I will go into that part after some time. Most of the scientific calculators have both sample and population standard deviation as a built-in function. The sample standard deviation is usually symbolized as sigma n minus 1. So here we can see there is a difference in notations under the scientific calculator, but you can identify that by using this metric, which is n minus 1. n minus 1 indicates sample standard deviation. Population standard deviation referred as sigma n because instead of n minus 1, we are going to use n into this formula. The degree of closeness between these two values depends on the size of n. Now what is the meaning of this? As the n becomes larger and larger, the difference goes on reducing. This is because as the sample size is increasing, we are approaching to the true mean of the population. This population standard deviation is calculated by using this formula. Sigma is equal to square root of summation goes from i is equal to 1 to n x i minus x bar bracket square divided by n. Now one important point that we need to understand, the population standard deviation is symbolized as sigma n that we are already seen. We rarely use this sigma n population standard deviation because always the intent is to draw the conclusion about the population by using the sample. This again indicates if you are confused with which formula to use for the calculation of the standard deviation, please look at this statement. If they are asking for the sample standard deviation or for the population standard deviation. Now before to explain how we can use the Microsoft Excel for that and how we can do that by using the scientific calculator, this is another example for you. Please calculate what is the standard deviation by using the formula. 2.8, 8.7, 0.7, 4.9, 3.4, 2.1, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12, 3.13, 3.14, 3.15, 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, 3.19, 3.20, 3.21, 3.22, 3.23, 3.24, 3.25, 3.26, 3.27, 3.28, 3.29, 3.30, 3.31, 3.32, 3.33, 3.34, 3.35, 3.36, 3.37, 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, 3.42, 3.43, 3.44, 3.45, 3.46, 3.47, 3.48, 3.49, 3.50, 3.51, 3.52, 3.53, 3.54, 3.55, 3.56, 3.57, 3.58, 3.59, 3.60, 3.61, 3.62, 3.63, 3.64, 3.65, 3.66, 3.67, 3.68, 3.69, 3.70, 3.71, 3.72, 3.73, 3.74, 3.75, 3.76, 3.77, 3.78, 3.79, 3.80, 3.81, 3.82, 3.83, 3.84, 3.85, 3.86, 3.87, 3.88, 3.89, 3.90, 3.91, 3.92, 3.93, 3.94, 3.95, 3.96, 3.97, 3.98, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.99, 3.
So please type here is equal to STDEV that is for the standard deviation and instead of yes select P now because we are going to calculate standard deviation for population. Just double click on that and select this data. Complete the bracket and make an enter. So we will be getting the population standard deviation for the example one. Just copy this to the second example and we can also see what is the population standard deviation for second example. For the third, this is an example for you. Now, if we compare the standard deviation for the sample and standard deviation for the population, we can always see the population standard deviation is lesser compared to sample standard deviation. Why this is? Because the change in the formula. In population standard deviation, we are dividing by n instead of n minus 1. As the denominator is higher, we can get the lower standard deviation for the population. Now with these examples, I am sure that you have also got clarity how we can calculate the standard deviation for your sample by using Microsoft Excel. Now the third point which is how to calculate the standard deviation by using scientific calculator. So let's go into that part. At the end of this video, if you found this information useful, then please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you want to learn Lean Six Sigma and Minitab most effectively and practically, then please visit at vijayasabe.co slash join or successfulcareerhub.com slash courses. One more important thing, if you want to support me or appreciate my efforts, you can also join my YouTube channel by clicking the join button at my YouTube channel. By joining this YouTube channel, you are not only supporting me, but also getting an access to the perks that can help you in your career goal. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.